Bringing in their crop of winter wheat means a work day for every generation of the Schaefer's family. Wheat planted in November is being harvested on this late June morning. And at the same time, other family members run baling equipment to clear the fields and plant soybeans, all part of a yearly rotation of crops. May not get to the first time either. We've greased it up in here and the strings are laying in here like they're supposed to. Bob Schaefer's is the patriarch of this Arkansas farm family, working 1,000 acres of land along the Arkansas River. Well, this is a part of an old plantation, one of the three biggest in central Arkansas in uh, the 1900s, 1920s. 19, uh, it stayed in business to 1953. Bob and his wife Pat have been farming this land since the early 70s. It's a family operation that now includes his sons, Chris and James, and their respective wives and youngsters. On a busy morning like this, that family strength in numbers makes it easier to face the challenges. Things break down and things get hectic. And just like now, we're running behind. The weather's kept us out for so long, but we just take it one day at a time. Harvesting this wheat crop means Bob's hands on the baler and Chris's eyes on the field. Looks good, looks good. Bringing in a large crop can mean days, even weeks of work for farmers. Time that requires a focus on everything from equipment issues to marketing decisions. One of the boys is a better mechanic than the other one. He does most of the mechanic work. And the other one's a better marketer than the, the other one, so he does the marketing. Pat Schaefer's will tell you that weather is always a factor, sometimes a devastating one. Since we've been on this farm, we've had five 50-year floods, so that should tell you a lot. And then we've had floods on the outside of uh, the levee and drought on the inside on top of it. So it's, it's not easy. It's not an easy life, but it's, it's a way of life, and I think that's what keeps people farming. They have to be, uh, they have a love for it. As with many farms today, diversification plays a major role in keeping the Schaefer's operation in the black. Come fall, they harvest straw to sell through the winter. They raise livestock for the beef cattle market. So we grow rice, uh, soybeans, corn, uh, the wheat here today, where we, and we bale the straw, so we just try to to keep her hands in a number of things. And that includes corn that does double duty in the field. The Schaefer's corn maze draws thousands of visitors each fall, and the designs reflect local and popular themes. We've done the, the, the uh, steamboat because of the river. Uh, we did the Razorbacks year before last, and that was a hit because Arkansas is Razorback country, there's no doubt about it. Visitors to the maze also give the Schaefer's a chance to educate non-farm families about the work that puts food on their table. And uh, we try to teach them about agriculture because a lot of them know nothing, absolutely nothing. Bob, I'd like to present this to y'all. Thank you, Matt. On this day, the Schaefer's take a break from their harvest to be recognized for their efforts to sustain and promote Arkansas agriculture. I mean, it's where all of American lifestyle stems from. Without food, you know, nobody can exist. Agriculture is a hard way to make a living, but yet enjoyable on the other end. And giving someone a little honor for the, a job well done is just something that we felt was necessary. The work and honors aside, the Schaefer's will tell you that living on the land is a significant factor in the continuity of generation after generation on the farm, a lifestyle that brings its own reward. It's peaceful. I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't trade it for anything.